Alrighty, so now when it comes to the live action version of the comic book character The Punisher, the 2004 version of The Punisher as played by Thomas Jane had always been my favorite. I thought he absolutely obliterated it. He actually brought it to life better than Dolph Lundgren ever could. Massive props to the OG Punisher Dolph Lundgren. But Thomas Jane's version was always my best and was always the yardstick. Hence why I did not like the 2008 version of The Punisher The War Zone. I really didn't like it because I didn't think that it was well portrayed. However, when I heard that John Brunthor was going to be playing the Punisher in the Daredevil series, I was a little bit skeptical because I hadn't seen him in such kind of movies. I mean, I saw him at the Night of the Museum. I saw him at The Accountant, The Wolf of Wall Street, but never really anything of this nature. But when I saw him, he absolutely killed it. He absolutely killed it so well that he got his own spin-off, The Punisher. And that was really good, at least the season one that I saw. I didn't even know there was a season two until recently. However, the season one, pitch perfect in my opinion. Perfect Punisher series that I recommend. Now, you can imagine my excitement when I heard that he was going to be coming back and reprising his role on the new Daredevil Born Again series as Marvel Studios to bring back John Bernthal as the Punisher. So, I was a little bit excited until I was slapped into reality because I realized that this wasn't Marvel's The Punisher as it was on Netflix. This is Disney's Marvel's The Punisher. And if anything that we've seen Disney do with many of these characters, particularly if they're male and straight white male more especially, um, I don't think it's anything good to be looking forward to. And I'm not the only one that feels like this. As Ryan Kinnell also posted on Twitter talking about this, saying it would be cool to be excited for this, but from what we've seen from Disney's Marvel, we'll probably see him tracking down people who used the wrong pronouns so he could cancel them. And as funny as that would be, it might might not be all that far from the truth sounds like a couple of police officers from the uk who will track you down and arrest you if you post something that is somewhat offensive or causes a person from a so-called abc marginalized group some anxiety you might get arrested in the uk for that and many other things true story by the way but in any case is he really far from the truth well let's take a look at it all of the characters that have been popping up since the mcu version of the MCU, which is the Phase 4 version of the MCU, what has been happening to them? Well, let's start off with Falcon, for instance. Falcon is the only superhero that I have ever seen experience systemic racism. Because he is black, he was unable to get a loan from a bank simply because he is black in America. Does that still happen today in America? Please let me know if you're black in America and you couldn't get a loan simply because you're black, not because you don't have a good credit score or any other reason that any other person from any other race, including white people, wouldn't get the same said loan please let me know and not only that they now turned him into a tokenized captain america because they wanted to use him to push socialist propaganda him telling the senators to be more involved in people's life do you think it is fair for governments to have to support them yeah yeah just what we need more government in our lives right pushing more socialist policies towards the people you gotta do better is what he said don't even get me started on loki for instance loki is another character that was bastardized on his own series not only did they make him a second fiddle and a sidekick to a female version of his character in the entire show they literally had him kicked in the nuts both figuratively throughout the show and even literally at one point multiple times And what about Doctor Strange in WandaVision? Oh yeah, I remember. Doctor Strange wasn't on WandaVision because he doesn't actually told the feminist messaging of strong independent women that don't need no man. So they scrapped off all of his scenes and the scenes where he was teaching Wanda how to harness her own power because it just doesn't sit right. Independent women, strong and powerful women don't need no man. And now that actually translated into Multiverse of Madness where he actually had the floor wiped with him alongside the Sorcerer Supreme Wong and the whole camotage by one strong independent woman who don't need no man in Wanda literally beating and kicking the she's need out of all of them and camotage and remember the camotage were a people that have been defending the earth against monsters that we could not comprehend and just one person even without the MacGuffin book beat the crap out of all of them 
just like that why because she's a strong independent woman that don't need no man and at the end of the day dr strange was reduced to dr strange mom that was what he was throughout the entire movie to american chavez moving on to hawkeye what about hawkeye was second fiddle to a female version of himself playing the sidekick to the female version of himself because the story did not center around him the story was centered around kate bishop on a hawkeye show vincent donofrio's kingpin was a shadow of what kingpin was on the daredevil show speaking of which the daredevil himself matt murdoch was just the butt of all jokes when it came to his own role on she hawk it was a shadow of himself you saw what they did with him and how they made a mockery of what this person was because they really literally don't like the fans but beyond that i think there is something going on other than just that and to top it off i have some sad news for you guys as even though they are bringing back john brunthal seemingly they are going to be dropping eldon hansen and deborah and wall from the franchise as these were the two people that played karen page and foggy nelson respectively why do you reckon that's happening well because they will probably make the show way too who white so i wouldn't be surprised if at this point in time they go find somebody a person of color or a black person to partner matt murdoch or somewhat partner daredevil and become his new sidekick or his new partner in his law firm or his secretary or whatever that person will be and that person of color is at some point going to be telling matt murdoch what to do or ordering him around or making him look stupid and goofy hence why they named it born again because they have already admitted that this is going to be a totally different daredevil so why should i expect any more from them than what ryan kinnell had said about the punisher he's also going to be different from the punisher as we know it and i wouldn't be surprised if they had him hunting down people who used the wrong pronoun